Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you the Calgary Flames shootout commentary and I'm going to rank how I think they are this year, how I think they're going to be in the future, and just overall talk about the team. So to start off with, they haven't made too many big moves. They did acquire Hamilton as well as getting Froelich in free agency. Those are the only two really big moves they've made or acquired. Froelich's going to get you probably 40 points, a good second line guy, and Hamilton has a lot, a lot, a lot on him, and he can be a very good top two defenseman. On the Bruins, he was a very good and promising player, and now he's on the Flames. Prospect-wise, I think the Flames have some pretty good pieces, and prospect-wise is not people on the team, like Hamilton's young, Gaudreau's young, people like that, they're young, but I'm looking more into their prospect pool for the future, the people who aren't on the team. But to start out with, I wanna start out with a few people. Sam Bennett is playing now, but this is his first year, so I think he is good. Marcus Granlund, Olive, Oliver, Killington, Morgan Klimchuk, Emil Poirier, I'm not sure how I said that, but those are the only ones I have some basic knowledge on. And to start out with, I'm going to say their prospect grade is a C. They're a very, very, very young team with some really good rookies in the system right now. Gaudreau, Hamilton, Monaghan. It just, there's a lot of good young players on the team right now. So right now as a team, they're a very good team, very young team. And again, they have some good rookies on the team, but prospect wise for the future, I would say it's around a C. There's no one there that you're like, wow, Sam Bennett can be really good. But besides that, everyone else is, eh, I could see them being maybe like a good top six pairing or a good top six forward, stuff like that. But I can't see anything elite wise there. So I'm going with a C in my opinion and where I think the Flames will finish. So last year they finished with, they finished an eighth in the West with 97 points. And this year they got Froelich and Hamilton. They didn't really lose anything. Besides that, they only lost Byron, but he's actually pretty solid. Again, a lot of their players, a lot of their young players got older, so they should be better. Monaghan got older, Gaudreau got older, so I think this year they're going to finish in 14th to 18th, which most likely will be a playoff spot. 14th to 16th will be a playoff spot, so I think they're going to finish in a playoff spot, but I can see them not. Like, that's why I have to till 18th, but I think they will be a playoff team, so at the end of the year, if they make the playoffs, I'll be like, that's what I thought, because I think they have very, very good talent on the team. Again, looking into some stats, they're not that great of a possession team. They've got speed, they've got some skill. They've got a mixture of everything. What I think they need for the future is, I think for forward wise, they need another top six forward. From last year, they basically got that with Froelich. So we'll see how they do this year. But I just looking at the roster, I think they could use another top six. Otherwise, I mean, they're looking really good. Defensemen, maybe they want another top six guy, but I think for the top four, they're really good with Brody, Giordano, Hamilton, just they've got a nice solid top four. And then goalie wise, Hiller and Ramo, uh, they're good, but they're not great. They're not, in my opinion, neither of them are elite goalies. They're both probably starting. Well, Ramo could be for like NHL wise, like both could be starting goalie wise. But those are what I think. I think the Flames are going to finish in a playoff spot, probably getting around 98 to 100 points, 14th to 18th place. And prospect rate is a C. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Back to my ways. People always ask how I got my nice things. Take my crown to the grave.